We're back to shrinking our dink using recycled number six polystyrene plastic. I keep getting the question, what's the practical use of shrinking plastic? And besides being a real world example of glass transition temperature in an amorphous polymer and bringing joy, it's way easier to draw something big and cut it out with scissors than it is to draw something small and take the Dremel to it. So now that that's out of the way and we have these mini shades, we need a tiny little friend to model them. So next up, let's wing it and wrap some metal wire bones with a epoxy sculpt using lots of reference photos. Then after we give our project a little body, we can finish it out with a couple of legs to stand on, or in this case, dancey dance on. But frankly, they're looking far too gray and drab for my liking, so let's pinkify them with some acrylic paint and dry brush on the details. And finally, we can finish them off with this tiny little hat, which I'm also making out of a epoxy and a cut up twist tie, because ultimately, I want this to be waterproof. And now that our little friends put this fabulous outfit together, let's coat them in UV resin and dunk them in this snow globe, because that was the assignment. But then I was like, what am I supposed to do with a heavy glass ball? So instead, I stuck them on the craft blender so they can dance along with the paper recycler. 